Welcome, I'm Marek Mulaczek from SAI Training.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. In this video about Dreamweaver, I'm going to show you how to define a new Dreamweaver site. This is the first task you should do when you start designing a website. You put all the files together, the images you want to use, all the documents, and then you jump into Dreamweaver and you define a site. Now, site definition in C Dreamweaver CS5 has been redesigned, and now it's even better and easier to use than ever. I'm in, welcome, I'm in Dreamweaver, I've got a welcome screen here, and I'm going to start by clicking on Dreamweaver site here in the Create New section. This will bring the new site dialog box, and I'm going to give it a name first. This is the name that only appears within Dreamweaver, so you can call it anything you like. There are no naming conventions in here. I'm going to call this one just a test site, so I'm going to call that Test. Local site folder is the folder on your computer when the site is located. So I'll click on Browse folder and I'll navigate to my desktops. I've got some files here called DW Lessons and I'm going to use Lesson 10 as an example and I'll click Select. And that's basically what you need for a basic site. But there's some more f information in here. If you go to Advanced Settings, you can also define the default Images folder. So when you define images folder, it makes it easier for Dreamweaver to find the files. And also, the great feature here is that when you insert an image to your site and it's in a different folder, Dreamweaver will prompt you whether you want to copy the file into your site folder. And if you define your images folder, that's where Dreamweaver is going to copy it. So really valuable information. So I'm going to click on this folder icon and I'm going to double click on the images folder and then just click select. If you have your web address, you can type in here as well. So I could type in, let's say, sitraining.co.uk. Okay. <coughs> now, if you already have the FTP settings, if you want to connect to your server, we'll go to the servers and we'll click on the plus sign to add a new server. In here, you need to add all the FTP settings that you received from your hosting provider. You will get it from them either in an email or you will find it when you log in to your hosting. <coughs> so your FTP address, this would usually be FTP dot and then the address, so it could be sitraining.co.uk. In this case, this the hosting provider I use, don't use the FTP at the beginning, so it's just sitraining.co.uk. Then you've got the username and the password. You will be using FTP. And you may have the root direction directory. Okay, so maybe you type in here and then you just click save. I'm just going to cancel in this case. And then you click save. Now Dreamweaver will recreate the files so you can see all the files in here. In the files panel, files panel keeps all the site definitions for you so you can easily jump between different sites you've created. By the way, when you start with Dreamweaver, you're going to see the content of your desktop. So you're going to see something like that. Now, let's say you want to remove this site, you don't need it anymore. You go to Site, Manage Site, select the site you want to remove, so I'm going to select the test, and then click Remove. You cannot do this actually, delete the selected files. I'm going to click Yes. What's happening here is you're just removing the site information from Dreamweaver, you're not deleting any files on your hard drive. So the files are still there, you're just removing the site definition from Dreamweaver. And that's how you can easily create and remove sites within Dreamweaver CS5. I'll click down here. Once again, I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.